Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll show you how to add a flashcard page to your app. The flashcard page allows you to create virtual flashcards bearing information such as words or numbers on either or both sides for a variety of purposes. Let's see how it's done. First go to our NoCode ad building platform. If you have already created an app, log into your account and go to manage and edit to add flashcard page to your app. If you have not yet created an app, click on get started to build your app. Here we'll show you how you can add the flashcard page to your new app. First enter your business name here and click on next. Next enter the purpose of your app and click on next. Based on the app purpose you mentioned, the system will add certain pages to your app. Now click on save and continue to finish creating your app. Once you have selected the desired pricing plan and installed the app, all of our features will be unlocked. Click on start editing to add the flashcard page to your app. If you see that the flashcard page is already added to your app, click on it. Otherwise, click on view all, search for flashcard, and click the page to add to your app. The existing app users can add the flashcard page into their app in exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at everything you can do with the newly added flashcard page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it to fit your needs. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid color or an outline for your icon or even an image from our library or your own custom image for your icon. You can even upload two different images for your mobile app and website. Now let's move on to the content section. Let's add the flashcard page. Click on add flashcard the flashcard window will open. Click on Add Flashcard. The Add Flashcard pop-up window will open. Enter the title in the flashcard title field. Now provide a description of your flashcard here. From here you can add an image to your flashcard. Once done, click on save and continue. You can see the flashcard has been success successfully added to your dashboard. From here, you can search for the flashcard by name. You can even sort the flashcards based on their publishing date and selecting the appropriate start and end date here. You can even sort the flashcards based on their status. From here, you can reset the sorting order Click on Add Flashcard to add multiple flashcards. Provide all the required information in the appropriate fields and click on Save. If you want to delete multiple flashcards in one go, select the specific flashcards and click here to delete them. Click on this icon to edit the flashcard. From here, you can delete the specific flashcard. If you want to change the status of the flashcard, click on this icon. You will see the status has been changed here. Now let's move to page style and color scheme. From here, you can change the page background. If you want, you can select a background image from our library, upload your own custom image, or choose a solid color for your background image. You can even change the page layout from here. Here are some advanced settings for page layout which you can select to fit your needs. Next comes advanced elements customization. From here you can change the page elements like color, font style, font size, and indent. Check this box here if you want to enable sharing for your flashcard. Once done, click on save and continue. Thanks for watching. That's all for now.